Firefighters say good communication is mm -hmm. truly their lifeline, but there are many buildings in Cincinnati that have dead zones. Those are areas where radios are just out of range and firefighters say they are at a greater risk, especially during an emergency. I team chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham learned more about this problem following a recent ride along with firefighters. Craig and Tanya, Fire Command says preparation and a secondary channel help firefighters in those dead zones. But the Firefighters Union says sometimes firefighters don't even know they're entering a dead zone until they get there and are out of range. And the extra steps involved in communication create a more dangerous situation. When firefighters arrived at this apartment complex, the power was out and some of the senior citizens who lived there were concerned and confused. In the darkness, with everything else going on, a firefighter indicated his radio was out of range in a first floor apartment, which meant he couldn't communicate directly with dispatchers. Because there's so many other variables, we probably need to look at that individual radio to see if, that, if there is something uh, within that radio that was causing that, uh, or was it really a signal strength problem? On Friday, Fire Chief Roy Winston sent a memo to City Manager Harry Black. Chief Winston emphasized that there are virtually no radio dead spots in the city of Cincinnati if you are outside. He also indicated that the city radio system maintains 95% in-building coverage. It doesn't surprise me. The radio concerns in the Cincinnati Fire Department are long documented. Firefighter Union President Matt Alter says firefighters have wrestled with communication problems for years. We can't talk about them enough. It's a major concern. It is our lifeline. The city says it spent $15 million upgrading its system last year and that since then, fire and police radios have been tested and coverage has improved. Fire Department! Chief Winston says if radios are out of range during an emergency response, the firefighters on the scene can still talk with each other on a different channel, and incident commanders outside can relay information to dispatch. Through training, uh, looking at backups that we've put in place to try to help our members, I think that, you know, we've, you know, the system has proven itself uh, fairly reliable. The chief says the fire department keeps track of dead spots reported by firefighters and shares that information with crews when they are dispatched to those buildings. The ability to communicate is really our, is what keeps us alive. Is there equipment that can be installed in buildings that can help boost a signal? And there is. Um, it's just a matter of getting that, those systems and that, that equipment in place. The city says UC Medical Center and Great American Ballpark are among many buildings that have added new antennas that eliminated these dead zones. The transit center near Paul Brown Stadium and Great American Ballpark has dead spots, but a new antenna will be installed there too. But for many other buildings, firefighters must rely on their own reports, follow through, training and instincts when they find themselves in a dead spot during an emergency situation. Motorola built and maintains the system. In a statement, the company says Motorola Solutions works closely with the Cincinnati Fire Department to provide a mission critical radio system that adheres to in-building public safety radio coverage requirements. Motorola says it's ready to assist the fire department to address any coverage concerns. Under city code, only buildings at least 75 feet tall, typically about six stories, are required to have the antennas that can fix the problem. Craig and Tanya, 